Hello, CHHS. I want to demonstrate to you how you can choose electives through your portal. Right now, I've logged into this student's portal, and although I have their name and schedule blurred so that you can't tell who they are, uh, this is a current freshman student. What this student needs to do to take a look at their own requests and electives is to go down to the bottom of this list and click More. And once they click more, they see the option for course registration. And they're going to go into that. And next, they'll see next year, the option for next year's registration. And they click that. What will come up then is a list of any courses that have been preloaded for the student. In this case, everyone takes English 10. Everyone who's a sophomore generally takes health. And everyone in the school takes phys ed. So those courses have been preloaded. Beneath that may be some additional requests that teachers have entered because they're recommending you to take a course. Note that any of those ones that are below those ones we've preloaded would be ones that you can change when you talk to your counselor. You can't change anything that's in this list, but what you can do is go down to the add course at the bottom and click it. And then what will pop up is a list alphabetically of every elective that we have in the school. All of these courses have no prerequisites, so anyone can take them at any time in their high school uh, process. For example, let's take a look at this one. When you click it, a description of it pops up, and many of them also have short videos that you can click so that you can see some more detail of what it would be that you're taking. If you want to add that course, click Add Request, and it will say, that it's successfully added. If we go back, we go back to the list, and I can go back one more to now see that the one I added has appeared on the list. Because you added it, you can go back and you can also drop it. All you need to do is go down here to the bottom where it says delete request and click delete. Now it will be off the list when I go back to the list. We're back down to the regular courses that started there. The last thing I want to point out is that there's this bar up here, which is an estimate of how full your schedule is at any particular time. Don't worry too much about this right now. This is going to be resolved once you meet with your counselors. You will be meeting with your counselors the first two weeks of February, and all of those choices can be revised when you do that. I hope this helps and feel free to send us questions and we'll be happy to answer.